Hello, in this video I will be showing you how you can put background images into Blender 2.8. So this is what we'll end up with, two background images aligned to each other and we can hide them and stop ourselves selecting them. Now it's very straightforward, so if I grab my windows and find my file that I want to bring in, let's bring in this Spartan helmet here, you can click and drag it in and it appears in your scene. Now that's great, but it's not aligned, so let's delete that and I'll go to front view with one on my numpad or you can use the icons up here to go to the different views. So there's front view. So if I bring my folder back up with my picture within it, I can click and drag that in and it comes in nicely. Okay, I'll minimize that for the moment. Maybe I'll make this a bit bigger. So I'll grab the corner and I can rescale it. And let's press G to grab to move it into position and left clicking when I'm happy. You can also use the manipulator tool there to move it around. Now I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate it, so that's Shift D, and I'm going to right click, so I've got a duplicate right on top of the old one. Now I can press R to rotate, 90 to rotate 90 degrees, and Z by the Z axis, and press Enter. Then I can move it into position, move it forward a bit so the spike kind of lines up, and this is great. So there's my background images set up, they are in a collection at the moment, so there's a collection here up the top. I think it's a good idea to create a new collection, so I'll right click in here and press new and I'll label this background. Now these are both empties as they're known as and they're both up here. So I can select both of these with the shift left click and drag them into my background collection. That way I can hide them if I want with the little eye there or I can stop myself selecting them. So if I press this I won't be able to select either of them so they won't get in the way. So that's setting up background images in Blender as quickly as possible. Watch out for more super quick tips in Blender 2.8 on this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.